Think as crazy and wild as you need to think. But at the same time, you have to get into a space and be real with yourself. Like, I'm in my comfort zone. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired of being basic. I'm tired of being mediocre. I'm tired of this little salary. I'm tired of this little beat up car. I'm tired of my credit score. Like, you have to get to a place to where you're so sick and tired that you're just going to make the moves. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra, and here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So with that being said, we're gonna hop into today's video. So today we're getting into something that could be a little bit juicy. I might step on a few toes here, but today we are talking about how to get unstuck. Like, are you tired of feeling stuck? Tired of playing to say, tired of just settling for your regular life. It's like, you know, you're destined to be something so much more, but you're stuck in the comfort zone, afraid to take the risk, afraid to know which direction to go. But sometimes you just have to go. Today, we're going to be diving into how to actually transform your life, get unstuck, and live the life that you truly desire. Because I was actually sitting back talking to my friend today and I'm like, we were talking about dream boards and like, I haven't made a dream board probably in about two years. And I'm like, I don't really make dream boards anymore because it does give like a certain pressure of like, oh, you need to have this, you need to have this now. And it's like a, a visual representation. Something that I do now is I do scripting where I write out what I want in a journal, write about it as if it already happened and just forget about it. So the things that I actually write in my journal tend to happen a lot faster than the things that I have on my vision board. But as I was talking to her, I'm like, now that we're actually talking about these vision boards and like things that we wanted for our life, stuff that was on my vision board in 2020, 2019, 2018, 2021 are things that I'm literally living in right now. I'm literally living in an answered prayer today. And I just want to let you guys know that you have to get out of your comfort zone to even touch or scratch the surface of the life that you want. Like I said, here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So if you do not love your life, like you are the only person standing in your own way. So first things first is like you have to get tired of being mediocre. And when I say we're stepping on toes today, this is what I mean when I say we're stepping on toes today. You have to be tired of being average, tired of being basic. And it's like, you may not even think that you're being like basic or average or whatever because of your circle. You might be the best of the best in your circle, but you are only going to grow as far as your circle. So if you're top notch in your circle, honestly, you're in the wrong freaking circle. And I just kind of want to talk about how me pushing myself out of my comfort zone really helped me walk gracefully into this answer prayer. So like just to set the stage a little bit, I took the leap. I moved across the country by myself. I didn't have a savings. I just decided one day I'm going to apply for jobs. I got a job, got the job in July and I was moved in. September. Matter of fact, today is the day that I signed my lease in 2022 uh, to move to Texas. September 18, 2022. That was my move in day. So I just made the decision that like I was tired of, you know, my little life in Detroit. And honestly, I felt like I was doing well for myself. I worked at, you know, a big company a very stable job. I was making decent money. Um, the only thing that really actually pushed me was I did not like my apartment. And I also felt like the apartments in Michigan aren't as nice as like other places. So it really solely kind of depended just on living space essentially at first because my apartment was so dark. It like kept me like depressed. The weather was depressing. And I was like, I'm 27 I'm not married. I don't have kids. Like nothing is holding me to this geographical location. So I took the risk. I put me first and I moved across the country. I left my friends. I left my family. I left my relationship. We did long distance and hey, it worked out for us. But I feel like you have to get to a place to where you're sick of being basic, sick of being mediocre, knowing that you're supposed to be do doing something better. You got to get sick of that to actually do that. So that is what truly pushed me. I was sick of 
the situation that I was in. And if you're you're not sick enough like of it, you're not going to go after the things that you want to go after. You're going to be afraid. You're not going to truly take the leap if you don't get sick of yourself first, sick of your situation first. So I want you guys to kind of just self-reflect. Are you living a life that you truly want or are you just comfortable? Are you just safe? I want you guys to really sit down and think about that. And then I want you to think about if that is a place to where you know, like, I'm just comfortable. This isn't the life I want to live. I think it's time for you to take the risk. Like I said, I made a very bold decision to move across the country. I had no savings. I had debt already before I moved, and I picked up a lot of debt on the way. I mean, moving across the country, new furniture, new everything. And it was just like, a lot of people call me crazy. Like, you're just going to move with no savings? Like, that's not smart. I mean, like, the thing was, people call me crazy. People tried to scare me. Like, we're going to miss you. Like, and it's just like, but I knew I wanted more for myself. You cannot grow in your comfort zone. And it was like, I was comfortable there. I felt like I was doing okay there. But it wasn't exactly what I wanted. You know what I mean? So I took the leap. Um, I got tired of like staying in my comfort zone and playing it safe. And I would say that's the thing that I've done my whole life. I literally just played it safe. Um, I could have went to any college. I got accepted to every college pretty much that I applied for. I ended up going to Michigan State because it was the safe choice. Obviously, I wanted to be a Spartan, so I went because I wanted to, but it still was the safer choice. I could have went to an HBCU. I could have went out of state to college, but I – didn't take the risk. I stayed in my comfort zone. Michigan State was close enough to home to where if something happened, somebody could come save me or whatever. Okay. And so like the craziest thing is like I moved across the country with no money, debt. I honestly, my credit score took a little bit of a tank during the time as well. But honestly, I took control over the situation. I owned up to like, these are my mistakes and like really took a look at my budget and figured out how could I make this work. Once I moved across the country, I made a lot more money. I get five-figure bonuses from work. So it's just like I make enough money to fix, you know, the financial problem that I had. But if I would have stayed in Michigan, I would not be touching the kind of money that I have right now. And if I did, it probably just would have took longer. But honestly, there weren't many opportunities like there are in other states in Michigan and honestly it's, it's a little bit more up and coming now so it might be different but for my time being I'm like I want to make way more than 60k so I left my job in Michigan making 60k moved across the country to make six figures and then I also have like bonuses from work so it's like I, I was an okay, okay, like financial situation back home, but moving and taking the risk, I put myself in a way better position. I said, I didn't have a savings. I didn't have debt. I mean, I had debt. So now I have a savings. I still have debt. I'm still paying it off, but you know, I'm in a better position. I have money left over for my checks. Like I feel like so much more comfortable in my finances. Um, I can buy things that I want. I have a nice apartment. I'm not like super depressed. Like I am in a good place simply from just taking the risk. So what I want you guys to really take from this is you only grow as big as your circle. So what risk do you need to take to go after the life that you want to? Next, I want to kind of go into decentering myself. And I decentered myself from what people thought of me, from my family, from my friends, and even my relationship. I had to let go of the validation of others and really learn to validate myself and trust in myself and make decisions for myself and be okay with it. Like when I got down here, I cried like a baby. Like, why did I do this? Why did I do this? But I spent a whole year here by myself and I really focused on me. I got my mindset together and I really just focused on self-centered growth. People, when you grow up, they'll call you self-centered and make you make it seem like a bad thing. But at the end of the day, this is your life. You should have a space and opportunity in your life to really only focus on yourself, focus on what you want, focus on your dreams, focus on your desires. And I had to take myself out of the situation to where I was around my friends, my family, doing the same old, same 
same old to really sit down and get with myself and figure out what Sierra wants. Like, not like, oh, I'm in this relationship. Like the next natural step in the relationship is to get engaged, getting married. And it's just like, I never took that time for myself to focus on myself, really sit down and figure out what I wanted and what I desire. So I highly, highly encourage you guys to take some time to decenter. I don't know what you need to decenter from. Maybe you need to decenter from your family, decenter from your friends, decenter from men, relationships. Like people go through life and they think marriage and being with a man is the end all be all. And it is not. You were put on this earth for a reason. You have a purpose outside of a man. You have a purpose that you are supposed to fulfill on this earth. And honestly, you're not going to figure it out if you sit up under a man. And I didn't break up with my, my, uh, we're engaged now, my fiance. Like we did long distance, but me stepping away gave me the space, the opportunity to focus on me because when we were together, my idea was like, oh, the relationship, what are we doing? Where are we going on a date? Like it was just always the relationship. I'm putting the relationship ahead of everything. Instead, I took this time to focus on myself and really be self-centered. Then from that point, I really started to focus on mindset. I really don't think people realize how powerful your mind is. Um, Even like just what people will tell you will really affect where you are. So you have to be strong in your beliefs and really believe what you want. You have to get into a headspace to where you believe your potential. It is more than just a dream. Like one day you're going to walk in that life. You're going to walk in that, those footsteps, but you have to believe it. And a way that I helped me really get into the mindset is I started to read more. I started to journal more. I started to meditate, visualize, really fuel that. The thing is like a lot of times we just think of a dream and it's just like an absent dream distant in the brain but if you really want something you have to fuel that desire you have to keep that desire close to you and really be actively working to put yourself and push yourself towards it getting in the vibration okay sure you don't have a million dollars yet but how does a millionaire act what does a millionaire's day look like like you really have to get into character But that really starts with having a good mindset. So if you have a negative mindset of, oh, I'm never going to get this, I'm never going to get that, I'm never going to be there, you're never going to be there. You have to be positive. And it's a lot easier than people think. Like just because you're in a bad situation, honestly, just start to think about what do I need to learn in this situation? Now, when I, I come across a situation to where it's not ideal for me, I start to say like, God, what do I need to be learning right now? Because I feel like we go through life and we have all of these lessons and you're like, why is it always me? Why I always got to be the strongest soldier to really trust, you know, God, trust his timing and ask him like, what are you supposed to be learning? Like, honestly, you should be Um, dedicated to lifelong learning. Learning doesn't stop at college. Learning doesn't stop at high school. Like every day you should be looking to take in new knowledge so you can better your life. You're not going to get to where you want to go if you're not learning how to get there. If you're not trying to figure it out, like nothing's going to, nothing is going to happen if you don't move, like nothing. You're going to stay in the exact same place. And you just, like I said from the beginning, like you have to get tired of being mediocre, like tired of staying in the same place, tired of the same old little job, tired of the same little old paycheck, like tired of, like you have to get tired to get moving. I've been talking about like weight loss here on my channel for the past few weeks. I have a weight loss series going. And honestly, it took me moving away from my comfort zone, my hometown, my family cooking, my I my stressors, my traumas. Like it took me taking myself out of that situation to get the body of my dreams. And I'm not 100% fully there, but I am as close as that I've ever gotten. But that took me, that took me being tired of being in the same place. I got to the point where I'm like, I'm about to be 30. I'm about to be married. Like I want to have the body that I desire. I don't have to settle for 160 pounds. I don't have to settle for 170 pounds. Heck, 
I had only been able to get to like 153 at my lowest. Once I got to 150, I'm like, I don't have to settle for 150. I got to 145, I don't have to settle for 145. Today I am 138 and I'm not settling for 138. Like I have a goal weight of 130 and I desire it and I'm going to get there. But you have to be tired of the same old stuff. Like I was like, I was working out, I was trying to eat healthy but it was like I really had to like sit down and figure out like how am I going to get there but I also feel like with me moving myself outside of the comfort zone I had to learn you know what works best for my body learn how to not eat so much and the thing is when you're in your comfort zone or if you're at home and you're around family like you're going to honestly you probably are just going to eat more when you you're around family you go to people's houses like you're doing the same old same old but it's like with me being you know here I don't have all of the distractions. I don't have all the going outs and like, I don't have, I'm not like directly centered around like traumatic places. Like I don't drive up the street and remember like something that bad, something bad happened to me on that street. It's like, I really took myself out of the traumatic environment that I grew up in and placed myself into a different space to where now I'm in a thriving space and I believe that this is a thriving space and you have to like go back to even mindset like you have to believe that you can actually thrive that is where people get lost in the sauce is they don't believe that they can thrive they might feel like their dream life is so far and so unattainable and it's just like your dream life is literally one decision away. Like I said, I am walking in a literal answer prayer. I prayed for a nice apartment. I prayed for a Jeep Wrangler. I prayed for a high paying salary. I prayed to feel comfortable in my body. Like these are walking, pr- like I'm literally walking in my prayers right now. And even like when I said, um, going back to like the dream board situation like I'm like I haven't done a dream board in forever but now my life is starting to look like my dream boards used to look when I was much younger me and John have actually been house hunting here lately we're looking at new builds and it's just like the houses that we've been walking into are the houses that would be on my dream board and I used to sit down and figure out like used to sit down and kind of think like wow I'll never get there like without a rich husband or something like that and I feel like that is something that they teach women unconsciously it's like you have to have a man to get all of this stuff now granted we do have a shared income we both make great money but like Even if we weren't together, we still make great money separately. We have good credit scores separately. So it's like we still set ourselves up to be in a great position. And that's actually something um, we were talking to the loan officer when when we were getting pre-approved. And he's just like, you guys really put yourself, you know, in a good position to get pretty much whatever you want. And sometimes I used to sit down and think like, oh my God, like, why am I not married? I thought I would have kids by now. And it's just like, if I would have gotten married at 24, if I would have had kids 25, 26, I wouldn't be here. I just wouldn't because I feel like I would have gotten so comfortable to my norm back home. I would have been comfortable with having, you know, babysitters and stuff around. Like I just probably would have never taken the leap, but I took the leap by myself. I didn't take it with my friends. I didn't take it with my boyfriend. Like I literally took this leap by myself and I took control of my life. Like comfort zone kills your growth. It will kill your growth. It will cure your dream. Think as crazy and wild as you need to think, but at the same time, you have to get into a space and be real with yourself. Like, I'm in my comfort zone. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired of being basic. I'm tired of being mediocre. I'm tired of this little salary. I'm tired of this little beat up car. I'm tired of my credit score. Like, you have to get to a place to where you're so sick and tired that you're just going to make the moves, take the risk, take the leap decenter your life from the bs from the talking the friends the family the relationships decenter yourself from men build build up yourself become self-centered work on your mindset and the thing is everything that you want is attainable i don't care how crazy or wild it sounds but you have to get yourself in a good mindset to get there and that comes with separating yourself 
sometimes like it doesn't have to be forever. It can be for a season. Like I said, I literally left my relationship. We did long distance for a year, which was hard. Um, but a year later, he got a job offer. A year later, I was engaged. So it's just like, don't get stuck feeling like you have to settle for where you are. Take the risk, even if the people that you love so much, so much aren't going with you, because guess what? God is a restorer and he will restore the relationships if they're meant to be. Or if they're not meant to be, he will bring something so much greater into your life. But you can't be afraid to take the risk, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share this video with a friend. But I just want to say this one more time. Comfort kills growth. Get uncomfortable and go after the life that you truly want. Bye.